I'm too far to the inside. There we go. That was a useful e-brake right there. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. I could finally complete my setup. The last piece of the puzzle is finally here. So I got this from Amazon. I got the one with the clamp so it's actually easier to mount. Be careful because they do sell them without clamps and then you'll have to drill some holes and mount it some other way. So um, with this option you could always take the clamp off and do it that way if you want to. But I think this was 60 bucks. You can get them on eBay also. I'll find the Amazon listing that I bought it from and I'll just post it right here. Hey, no, bro. You, you're on my face, bro. Get, move over here. Right there. Don't move. Right there. So, if you want, it just fell into the description. So, if you want to get it, it fell into the description. So, let's go ahead and mount it real quick and actually start playing with it. All right. So, like I said, it has a clamp. So, I'm actually going to clamp it right here. Tighten it down right there. And I actually have enough room where my hands might not touch it. Hopefully not. I mean, this will be my first time playing with it, but I think it should be good right there. All right, with that last piece of the puzzle, let me finally show you my complete setup. I don't think I need anything else, at least for the moment. And um, let me just run through it real quick. So this is my seat, little Mercedes seat, just kind of just, you know, just chilling. Got a little stand for the steering wheel, of course. Got my Logitech G920, um, my PC. Um, my, this is my mouse pad. <laughs> That's where I... I'm sitting close enough where I can just like reach on the floor and touch stuff. I got my headphones here so I can hear better. Got my handbrake in place. And this is my microphone stand, which is actually connected to my desk, which is actually connected to my other computer, which is solely just for editing. And there's a nice little LS Swap E46 M3 on my main channel. If you guys want to go check that out, it's black. Um, anyways, and here, this is my 42 inch TV. Just a literally a TV, you know, just plugged into there. And I bought another monitor. So that was one of the last things I bought too. So this is OBS Studios. This is what we use to uh, record all the footage. And you can kind of see right here, that's where my face is, which is a little webcam that I also got from Amazon. I think it was pretty cheap, but it works pretty good. And it has lights on it, so it's pretty cool. So. Anyways, I bought this because the OBS Studios, I don't know if you guys have ever used it before, it can lag sometimes. I actually did find out if you run it as an administrator, it won't lag at all. And that seems to be helping me a lot. So I've been running it as administrator because I've actually filmed three videos. Three videos that I couldn't use because when I finished, I found out the video was lagging the whole time. And I couldn't tell because it was running behind this game. So... Now I have another screen literally just to look at OBS to make sure everything's going smooth. So let's plug this thing up and get to sliding. All right, thing is plugged up. And if I did it right, now I guess I have to map it. Um, an Arduino Leonardo, Leonardo gamepad. I guess that's the... <laughs> um yeah so a sign back i have the e-brake set up now um i i didn't realize you had to do a different setting i'm gonna show you guys how to set it up just in case you guys go and buy one and you're confused like i am so typically when you set up something like this is my logitech wheel obviously and say I want e-brake to be my e-brake. So I go to assign it, I pull the e-brake, nothing happens. I'm like, okay, um, that, that was pointless. So I thought the thing just didn't work for some reason, but no, go back. The Arduino Leonardo is the e-brake. The e-brake is its own controller. So you go in here, I've already assigned it. It's gonna ask you to start ignition all that stuff you don't need that i've already assigned it here but let's assign it somewhere else let's assign it to clutch pull the e-brake and there you go so the e-brake that's now the clutch which obviously i would never do so let's assign it back to e-brake and boom so i have a e-brake it does work all i did was just plug it into the computer just usb and it works now so now let's go okay don't exit let's go try it so this is uh this is my E60 M5. Uh be honest, it looks kind of cool, but
but it kind of sucks. This is a terrible car. <laughs> it's like, it's really boatish and actually kind of, I don't know. It doesn't, it's just weird. I mean, it doesn't matter, but I'll oh, stop hitting that button. It does, but um, yeah, let's just go to, go to parking. Cause that parking has a lot of weird turns. So let's, well, first of all, let's see if it even works or I'm gonna look like an idiot right now. Let's see, e-brake. Yep, e-brake. E-brake works. You can see when I pull the handle, you can see it lighting up on the dashboard. So, let's see if I can do a full 180. There we go. Oh yeah, I have a working e-brake. So, anyways, e-brake will come in handy in times um, where you just kind of fall off your line. Maybe you're going too fast. Which is ironic because in real life, I actually don't really use an e-brake. Um, I especially, I don't even have a hydro. I got my factory e-brake that I barely use, but I kind of learned how to drift the hardest way possible. So it would be easier later on in life, which has worked for me. So I have a stock E36 with like 200 horsepower. I just wrecked. I have a stock E36 in real life with 200 horsepower and I, I, I started with just a welded diff and no angle kit, no e-brake, nothing, and just had to learn lines and practice technique and stuff. So that's that helped me a lot because then when I got in this car, okay, I'm kind of, let me get serious for a minute. Since I, I do know how to drive this car, I just don't like it that much. But uh, when you learn stock angle, then get an angle kit, it makes things a whole lot easier and again I'm learning without an e-brake so I have to focus on having a great line because a e-brake will help you fix your line so let's pull an e-brake right here see I'm like way off line and I kind of saved it while I was going too slow but when you're drifting you're kind of at a 20 degree 30 degree 45 degree angle whatever angle you're at you're still at an angle but you're still going forward so it's kind of like a C motion when you're drifting. Sometimes you don't need to be in that position. Sometimes you might be going a little bit too fast or got your angle wrong and you might need to pull the e-brake and actually adjust your angle and go straight across the turn instead of forward, if that makes sense. So sometimes the e-brake will help in that situation. And also it'll help you when you're tandeming. So you kind of, when you're tandeming, you're trying to follow their line and I pulled that for no reason. I did not need that. I just wanted to see if it would work. <laughs> um, let me see. I'll pull it right here. Again, wasn't necessary. These gears suck too. I need to shorten these gears. I think it's like, it is like 670 horsepower, but these gears are so long that you're like low RPM all the time. This car sucks. <laughs> it looks cool though. So anyways, I think um, e-brake is going to be fun. It's going to be fun because I'm actually going to learn more e-brake techniques on this on 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 this sim. I want to say this game. I was about to say this game, but I know what you guys are going to say. Get on a seto. I am. I am getting on a seto. Trust me. I am getting on a seto. I. That was my plan when I first got this whole sim set up, but. The reason I started playing this game is because it's easy to set up. You just buy the game and play. It's so easy to play this game. So that's why I wasn't really in a rush to get a set I know a set you got to set up a uh, content manager and download this and download that. I don't even know how to do it yet. So I'm gonna have to look up some videos on how to do it. And then I will play a set So I will definitely play that in the future. But for now, this game is so easy to set up and like get my feet wet in like the sim drifting world so that's why i haven't played yet so i will be playing very very soon especially now that i have everything i need or angle nope that was terrible so um but yeah so i need some e-brake work because i'm not the best with e-brake i'm also pulling it kind of for no reason right now just to, just to see if it works so let's see let's pull it here unnecessary but it does work and I'm way offline here 
Let's go super fast, super fast. Oh, I'm going too fast. Oh no, e-brake. <laughs> All right, I'm just messing around. But I just want to see how the e-brake works. It does seem, it does work. Even on this terrible ass car. I think I'm gonna go get another car first. Oh, I'll, yeah, I just went all over the place. So let me go get another car. This car, this car's terrible. All right, let's try another car real quick. Um, yeah, that'll work. I'll just take this car. And I don't remember if I, I might need to change some settings on this car. This car's kind of funky sometimes. So I'll do dino stand training. And that way I can change stuff on the spot. Let's see. Springstone. Might need an e-brake there. See how this car handles. Whoa. Okay, this thing is positive towed up, I see. Because it doesn't want to break loose that easy. Yeah, this car's weird. Oh, oh god. It's weird till I get used to it. I'll be fine. I just have to send it a little harder. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Now I'm looking for a reason to use the e-brake. I'm looking for a reason. I'm looking for a reason. I'm looking for a reason. Let's just... I definitely don't need it there. I, I was going way too fast. Alright, so not a good example. I'm driving terribly right now. Alright, okay. Here's an e-brake situation. Because up here... I went too slow, but I know that 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 area is kind of kind of tricky. <laughs> that was so unnecessary. I'm pulling it like unnecessarily, just like messing with it. Just, but it it does lock up, which is cool. But yeah, I definitely don't need to be pulling it, especially when I'm like in third gear, because then it bogs so hard when I try to come out. I have to remember to kind of rev rev a little bit. So it doesn't bog, but that no, it still bogs. Okay, this this sucks. Well, I might be pulling it too long too. So I am kind of holding on to it and it's definitely slowing me down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Four gear manjis. Oh, God. <laughs> e brake? Just for no reason. Just spin out. 360 e brake. All right, all right. Let's see. Let's see, I might, this, this. Oh, that was actually a perfect angle. I had no reason to use the e-brake right there. Let's see, I'm kind of tight to that corner, right? I stalled, oh my God. That was perfect opportunity. I ruined it, I choked, I choked. All right, let's go. I yoked that way too hard. I let that wheel go way too fast. It's like such a long straight. That's so weird. All right, let's see. Let's go this way. I'm too far to the inside. There we go. That was a useful e-brake right there. Don't use fourth. Yeah, that fourth is not. This fourth is way too long. Oh, I understand. I don't know what I did. I'll be honest. I don't know what I did. I'm in the grass. No grip. I'll do fourth here. 
But yeah, I'm not finding much use for the e brake right now. But I will find some uses for the e brake. Let's see. Let's use it right here. No, that was terrible. I panicked. I don't know what I was doing. I'll be honest. I panicked. Anyways, e brake works. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it a video right there. And I will probably go do some tandems or something where I'll actually need an e brake more often. And then. Um, Maybe try one of those top 32, top 32 uh, tournaments. Maybe I'll try one of those, those little online tournaments, because I see people playing those. I've never tried it, but we will see. So that's going to do it for this video. I'm looking for a reason, looking for a reason, looking for a reason. Let's just use it right here for no reason. There we go. That was literally pointless. <laughs> His lock of the back wheels for no reason. <laughs> That's not it. That's not it. Well, it's going to be fun. It's going to be useful to have. And like I said, I've already kind of developed my own skill to where I don't really use a handbrake anyways. Because <laughs> typically, if I want to slow down. That was terrible. Typically, when I want to slow down, I just throw a little bit of extra angle before the next initiation. Like, for example, let's go fast. A little bit extra angle and then that hit the wall that was a terrible example anyways i'm gonna go ahead and call it so thanks for watching deuces stay tuned for the next one we will be getting into some macetto i promise you guys i want to play it too i want to play it too so we'll be getting into it so that's gonna do it deuces see you in the next one